All right, I just got my kayak and everything dropped off down here at the water. I'm at a real popular access on this river, and there's still a ton of people in the water right now. I don't know if you can see the parking lot around me, but there's a lot of vehicles. But the sun is going down, and as it goes down, most of these people are going to be headed out for the evening. It's Sunday evening. We got work tomorrow, myself included. But I'm going to try to stay out here till at least 9 or 10 o'clock and see if the fish are biting. I'll be going after walleye and... Uh, trout i guess i'll catch trout as well while i'm fishing for walleye i'd be using uh mostly suspending jerk baits and i got some of the secret magic bait of course good old night crawlers so i've got two rods <laughs> So I accidentally bought garlic scented night crawlers. I didn't even know that was a thing. Let's take a look at what I'm using here since I know some of y'all are going to ask. I'm using uh, a variety of suspending jerk baits. This one is H2O Express brand, which is basically the Academy store brand. The uh, bait is called an Ultimate Jerk Shad. So I've also got this, uh, I think it's a Rapala. I don't remember the exact name of it. Yeah, it is a Rapala. That's a floating jerk bait, actually. That's not suspending, but it's in rainbow trout colored, which is good in this river because it's loaded with rainbow trout. Any other predatory fish is gonna eat a baby trout in this river. This one here is colored like a brown trout. I believe this is a uh, Leland's Lures, maybe. No, it's also a Rapala, sorry. This is also the H2O Express, these two. And color is called tomato shad i don't know if they make this color anymore because i can't find it but i love tomato shad color because it's it kind of resembles a rainbow trout but it's got that natural green top i love this i actually got three of them and i got some smith wicks pro rogue another suspending rattling jerk bait these are really good anyway that's just kind of what i'm using i've had good luck on pretty much all suspending jerk baits. And what I didn't bring with me today that I like to also use is a Rapala Shadow Wrap. Leland's Lures Trout Magnet crankbaits are also really good.
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. A little fiddler cat. Baby channel cat. Had a couple lookers on the jerk baits. Uh, I'm on the Smithwick uh, Pro Road right now, and uh, finally caught a little walleye on it. I also caught a skipjack on one of the Rapalas. So there's they're biting a little bit, but not real crazy. Nothing crazy yet. But uh, I'm gonna be here a while. It's just now finally getting dark. So I better check on this night crawler because something hit it pretty hard. I bet it took most of the bait. We're hooked up to something here. Oh, it ain't big, but it's another walleye. Most of the walleye I catch in here are roughly around this size, but there are some big keepers in here. Self-releasing. So, it looks like there's a fleet of kayaks coming my way, at least three of them. Um, there's always a few people who come out here, not every night, but you'll see people fish out here after dark. Yes, I'm wearing a life preserver with the pull cord, just so you all know. Because below a dam, you have to, by law, you have to wear a life preserver, so. Something's hitting my night crawler, too. Oh, oh I missed him. Dang, that thing had it, too. Back how she goes. Not very far. I've been seeing fish in here close. So I'm just gonna kind of plop it out there. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh yeah. It's probably another baby catfish. And it's another baby catfish. So far the only thing that likes garlic night crawlers is baby catfish. missed whatever that was. Something had it again, hit it a couple times. Oh, I think I missed it. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's dark out, I know, but something is running with it. You pull some extra slack off and close her up. Already seems like you may have sped it out. Yep, it's gone, isn't it? I wonder if I should take that sinker off. Free line it. All right, we're good. Get back to this jerk bait. Looks like he's already dropped it. I'm gonna keep trying. I know there's big old walleye and trout in here that like worms. That's interesting. It looks like it went to the left of where I cast it. Regardless of what I try, I cannot seem to get this fish to take the bait and hook it. There it is, there it is. Nope, nothing, nothing. There it is, there it is. Oh, I missed it. I'm gonna be honest with you, it felt pretty big. I just set it down for 20 seconds. I got one running with it now. Hit it pretty hard, but then dropped it. Here it goes. Yet another round. There he is. Whoa. That was quick. All right. This time I hooked him quick instead of letting him take it. Whatever it is, I just got the better of. It looks like a channel cat. Are you kidding me? I really should keep this one, take it home, fillet it up. But to be completely 100% honest with y'all, I have to work in the morning. I'm already cutting it close. It's getting late. I've got an hour and a half drive home and I'm not gonna feel like filleting this. So that's my excuse why this fish might just get lucky this evening and swim another day. But the cold, clear water, this has got to be a really good eating catfish here. And yep, that was my last worm, so it took me down to the last worm to catch that fish. Before I leave, I'm just going to make a quick round, throw on that jerk bait, get back in the kayak, 
and throw that jerk bait all down through there. Ooh, there's a fish. Another baby walleye, check that out. Bait's half as long as the fish. Pretty cool, let it go. So you all know here in Tennessee, the legal minimum limit on these fish is 16 inches. So it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be a little bigger than that before I can take one home. There's walleye all up in here. This is where the generators let the water out, but they haven't been generating for several hours. Ooh. Ooh. That's a trout. That thing jumped clean out of the water. No, it's another walleye. I just hooked them funny. Not a keeper still, but Walleye number four of the night. Not gonna complain about that. The biggest one of the night, still not quite legal. So we're gonna let it go and keep fishing. They're biting. There's shallow spots, even up here by the generator, there's shallow spots that have got that algae all over them. Oh, I just hooked into a good one. Something decent. That's a trout, isn't it? I'm hooking all these little fish and these this big old jerk bait's really hooking them funny. It's a brown trout. I'm gonna get them back in the water as quick as possible because these fish don't do very well out of the water. And it's easy to lose one that you can't even keep, which is kind of a bummer. They won't let you keep a certain size fish and then you hook one funny and it takes you a while to get it off and then it dies anyway. But I think this one's perfectly fine. I just got him taken care of quick and we'll let him swim right back into the water. That's the first trout of the night. Looks like the bite's picking up here or maybe I just got him to a good spot. Ooh. It's almost every cast now. This is crazy. Another little guy. Walleye. Yep. Dang. Walleye number five of the night. All it takes is one keeper. We just started dumping water out of this pipe. I wonder if that's running the fish off or getting them all up in there. All right, the bite has slowed down up here by the generators. We're going to start working our way back towards the, the ramp. Just every now and again, and we'll stop. Throw the jerk bait a couple times. Ooh, just had a fish hit close to the boat. Another walleye. This was in, we're sitting in about a foot and a half of water here. I don't think it's 16 inches, but I'm gonna double check. He's, he's right at 14. Couple inches short of keeper. Six walleye, I think, if I haven't lost count yet. But six now, that's better than I usually do. There's a big fish right here. Big old walleye. I just passed a couple fish I had to shine my light and they're both keeper walleye. Not real big, but they're keepers.
one thing that's frustrating about this fishing this shallow water it's got that scum algae real bad i have to pull it off my hook almost every cast and that gets old real quick but if the fish are biting it's worth it oh they're gonna start generating i guess it's i guess this is my last cast y'all i didn't realize they were gonna cut them back on catching moss now all right well i hope you all enjoyed